YouTube, it's your girl Natalie, One True Diamond, coming at you with a quick little Rite Aid haul that I did on today. Um, I told you guys I had to go back and finish up a Procter & Gamble because I only got two of the detergents um, yesterday. And um, I was going to do the deal like I did yesterday, get five and then get one of the CoverGirl eyeshadows like I did. But my coupons were three off of two, so that and I didn't have any of the other um coupons with me so I said well I'll just pay some overage and I'll just get four I can use Tide I love Tide anyway so um well Tide is a good one to have in stockpile I really wish I could stock up on Gain because that's really been my ultimate favorite since God knows when but when you're couponing you roll it what you can coupon with okay so Tide's the next best thing for me so anyway okay so I got these, and what you see is a sticker. You remember last night I had a coupon on one of mine, and I said I wasn't going to use it till later. I didn't realize it was a Rite Aid coupon, so I could have stacked yesterday the Rite Aid ones with the um, with the manufacturer and got an even better deal. But um, I saw it on Instagram this morning. I can't remember who the first one I saw it with because several people have posted it. But that those were Rite Aid coupons and that we could take the Rite Aid coupons and, um, yeah, we could take the Rite Aid coupons and, um, stack them with the manufacturer. So, that's what I did to finish up this deal here. And let me show you how it went. And then the girl was trying to tell me that it wasn't a Rite Aid coupon. I'm like, yes, it was. It was a Rite Aid coupon. It had Rite Aid on it. So, she had to call the manager up to open up the drawer. And when she asked him, she said, well, those manufacturer coupons are Rite Aid coupons that was up there. And I'm like, I just was looking at him. He said, oh, those were manufacturers. I said, no, they were Rite Aid. He opened up the drawer and he looked. They had Rite Aid written across the top. She said, well, it says Rite Aid right up here. It says Rite Aid. So, it is Rite Aid. That's a good deal. And he said, and he looked, he said, oh, those are Rite Aid. So, yeah, those are, you, those are, that is a really good deal. I'm like, why do they try to stop people from getting deals? I mean, you had to stick those up there because Procter & Gamble did not come down and stick Rite Aid coupons on a Procter & Gamble product. So, evidently, Rite Aid put these coupons out to be put up there to be used with the manufacturer coupons. So, I mean, they just really try to stop us. And then some people always have something negative to say about people who coupon. And if you knew the things that we go through and the stress that we go through, being embarrassed in lines, standing up there while you have to wait for somebody to come to open up a drawer to prove that your coupon was that, people behind you are getting impatient because they're ready to go. They hate it when couponers hold up the line. But, you know, we as coupons, we're not going to leave without getting our rightful monies, you know, or our rightful deals. So... Especially when we know we're right, we're going to stand there. So, you know, it's just, it's just a whole lot of confusion that could be avoided if people were more coupon friendly. And then they have to look cheap and eat goat or what is it called? Eat crow. Eat crow when they see that they're wrong and you were right. And then they try to get so nice and talk to you and carry on a conversation with you after they've already, you know, and I have to take a deep breath and say, what would Jesus do? <laughs> okay, what would Jesus do? So I'd be nice and I talk back, even though I know you just tried to block my deal. But anyway, let me show you guys a bit talking. Y'all know I'll get off on a tangent. In a minute, okay. So this is the tides and the dollars off and the um three off of two coupons and then I've got um two boxes of moon pies also. Y'all don't see that, okay? <laughs> anyway, I use um $14 worth of up rewards. My subtotal was a dollar and fifty-six cents. Tax was one seventy-three twenty-six. I put three dollars on that I had left on that gift card, Visa debit card from CVS, and then I paid twenty-six cents out of pocket. So, and then I got back my fifteen dollars. And that ended the deal on that card. So, so far I've done the P&G deal on two, well, three cards now. So I got one more card I can do it on, okay? So I, I don't know. I think I'm going to do it more CoverGirl because it's a better deal. Plus, I um, it's less out of pocket is what I'm trying to say. Plus, I'm trying to get the movie tickets, okay? If I get an extra ticket, then I can have a movie buddy to come and watch with me for free. 
the Hunger Games, okay? So, um, and I did see, for those of you all who um, are not on Instagram, if you got tickets to the movie for the Hunger Games through um, the CoverGirl deal, that the um, they were allowing $14, and the, some people's movie tickets were not costing $14, so the extra they were able to put on a gift card from the movie theater so they could use it, you know, on different things throughout the movie theater. So that was a wonderful deal, you know, for those of you who racked up and got a bunch of those movie passes. So you could put it all on um, a gift card and maybe come up with another movie ticket, you know, it's according to how expensive your movie is, okay? So anyway, with that being said, let me move on to this deal. I did the Tresemme again. I hadn't done it on this card. And sad to say, my coupons are gone to five off of two. So, yeah. So, I won't be doing the Tresemme anymore. The Moose was on clearance. And I wish I had got the other two that I saw, which would have made my deal come out a little bit cheaper. Because I was thinking that because these were on clearance at the other store, they would be on clearance at this one. But they weren't. They rang up regular price. These rang up for $3.39. The Mooses did. And the Shampoos and Conditioners rang up for four forty. dollars Four ninety nine. Okay, I decided to do the t Cover Girl deal on this card. You have to spend thirty, and then you get fifteen back. The eyeshadows were a part of it. Um, yeah, I had, I got twelve of them. I used six of the four off of um, two, which made these wonderful deals because they were bringing up at two dollars and some change for them. So that really made for a good, 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 cheap deal. Oh, and I got the Colgate Max on this deal. It is three fifty. I had a fifty cent off coupon, and it gave back a three dollar ECB. So that was a good deal. Okay. Focus, focus, focus. Okay. You see my first one at three thirty nine. Then I had two two dollar off um, of one Tresemme that I was able to use because I only had. Um, two of the five off of twos okay so that's what you're seeing there and then you see the um cover girl eyeshadows were two dollars and fifty four cents four dollars coming off and yeah and then that is the colgate for 350 with 50 cent coming off oh and the simple nail polish i forgot to tell you this is daddy's is this daddy's who daddy's girl and it's a pretty purple looking color it looks kind of blue and dark and black looking up here but it's kind of like a dark purple i love that um it was on clearance for 50 percent off um the deal this week has been 199 get 199 back well i only paid 99 cents and i got 199 back so that was a very good um money maker for that um also, I think it's Jersey Girl or some other fingernail polish line. I can't remember. I saw it on Michelle's Frugal Living's video. Um, also, um, that you can get that and get the money. Get the it's on clearance. You can get the clearance one, and it's giving back the full um, up reward. And also, um, the Kiss Nails. Some of those are ringing up on clearance and giving back. The full five dollars for those I saw that on I kill for coupons on Instagram that one on the kiss nail deal okay so I used twenty twenty two dollars in um, up rewards my subtotal was a dollar and twenty one cents tax was two fifty eight I paid three seventy nine out of pocket and y'all this was such a good deal of getting back I got back the one ninety nine for the simple nail, I got back seven dollar Tresemme, seven dollar Tresemme, three dollars for the toothpaste, and I got back my fifteen dollars for the Cover Girl. Okay, and that concluded my Cover Girl and my simple nail, and my Tresemme limit was all reached on that card now y'all see these little th things that print out like the um cash register tickets and things i have not gotten any but i've seen several people report that they have been getting the four off of thirty dollars or four fifty dollars i can't remember what the price of it is little um holiday gifts for um coming back shopping money off of 
so much that you spend. I have not been fortunate to get any of those, so I don't know what the criteria is, but in neither one of my shopping days yesterday or today have I gotten one. So, with that being said, maybe I'll get one tomorrow on my last card. Maybe that will look up and give me um, one, but for now, I have not gotten one. But anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. Sorry this was so long, but I did want to do this video so you guys could see just in case. Only because there were some new things that I didn't show y'all yesterday about the nail polishes and also about the cover girl. Just in case some of you might have forgotten or um, didn't, hadn't seen any videos or people talking about it on Instagram. But anyway, thanks for watching and keep an eye out if you're going to do the tie deal for the stickies, okay? Because that's the even better deal for you. Talk with you later. Bye.